So I've just been notified that So Real Sounds has been blindly nominated for Retail of the Year. So whoever in the industry that blindly nominated us for Retail of the Year, thank you, I appreciate you. Um, and if any of our clients end up seeing this video on YouTube, uh, we do want to thank all of you guys because without you guys, we would have no business. So we really appreciate everybody's love and support. And here is our video submission for Retailer of the Year. Welcome to So Real Sounds. So Real Sounds is a single store chain. So we're your one and only piece of baloney here. We've been in business here for 14 years. We have three employees, including myself. And welcome to So Real Sounds. Let's go deeper. What is So Real Sounds business philosophy? So basically our philosophy here is kind of like our name, So Real. Uh, we provide real solutions for real people. Uh, there's a lot of companies out there, you know, whether they make product, sell product, install product, there's a lot of companies that promise you the world with their products and make you think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. In reality, it's not really gonna do that for you. So we provide real expectations of whatever service we're providing to our clients so they know what they're investing their hard-earned money into and there's no question of what performance they're gonna get once it's installed into their vehicle. You know, so like that saying goes, you know, under promise and over deliver, it's kind of what we try to cater to here is, you know, give them the best of the best of whatever it is that they're doing and provide some real results for our clients. So what are some of the biggest challenges that So Real Sounds has had to overcome in the past year? Um, I would have to say that our biggest challenges really comes down to, um, you know, the lack of help we have here, you know, so it's pretty much, you know, me, I got my full-time tech hobby, um, and then I got my part-time guy, Kevin, um, and there's just an overflow of work here, which is a beautiful thing, but, you know, trying to get it all done within the time constraints we have um, definitely makes it difficult, um, you know, and plus with all the new technologies, all the new cars, there's so much stuff that we have to learn. So the learning aspect for us also can be difficult where we're just limited with time. Uh, you know, because we have so much work here during the day, it's grinding, grinding, getting that work done. You know, once we get out of work, we also have families that we have to raise. So, uh, you know, that time from raising the family doesn't leave much time for the learning stuff. So I would say uh, keeping up with the technologies and the learning aspect of stuff has been you know, a challenge uh, in the last year or so. Um, and then just with the workflow, just trying to get everything done and keeping our clients happy. So what makes So Real Sounds unique? Honestly, there's a lot, you know, we're definitely unique individuals here. Um, but, you know, from a client's point of view, I would say one of the most unique things that a client is going to gain when they do business with us and partner with us is going to be a learning experience. Uh, you know, there are a lot of products out there and a lot of people don't understand everything about that product and really you don't need to know everything but you know with a lot of the wrong information online that people read and think and whatever um, you know it's it's helpful to have a clear understanding of that product a clear understanding of how that product is going to benefit them how that product is going to solve the problem that they initially came in for you know we're Essentially, if you're in business, you're a problem solver. So um, we need to make sure that we have the right products to solve that problem. And educating our client on the products, um, or even not necessarily the products, but the aspect of that, you know, things about sound, you know, why does this do that? When you can educate your client, it makes it really easy for them to understand why they need this or why we do things a certain way. And it just makes the whole process of choosing the right system a lot easier for them and at the end of the day the easier it can be the better it is for everybody so our sales over the last few years um sales have definitely changed you know the winners are usually filled with a lot of vehicles getting remote starters that's definitely slowed down uh you know because the weather really hasn't been crazy 
with the cold and the snow to the extent that people are banging down the door to get remote starters. But uh, we've definitely seen an increase in DSP sales and with soundproofing uh, installations. Uh, and we've been doing that forever. I mean, we've been using DSPs for more than 20 years and we've been doing soundproofing since I got into this game. Uh, so, you know, we're very familiar with that stuff. But the DSP aspect, there's so many more vehicles that need them now just because of all the things that are happening inside of the factory radio. We've got to correct that stuff before we can start adding new speakers, you know, amplifiers, subwoofers, things of that nature. So DSP sales have definitely climbed because we need them. Um, and people are starting to see the value in them. So that's why those have definitely improved for sales um, and soundproofing. I mean, these cars, they're getting thinner, they're getting cheaper made, uh, you know, as time progresses. So they're definitely noisier and people are complaining about it. So uh, we are definitely doing soundproofing to help quiet that road noise. And for my clients that are enhancing the audio, we've got to soundproof it now because it's not, it's like, you know, a big tin can that's rattling like crazy. So um, sales have definitely kind of changed a lot. You know, we're, we're doing a lot more audio during the winter time than we were doing remote starters. But, uh, you know, our sales overall have been really steady. Um, it's just been changing the aspect of what we're selling and how we're selling. Uh, you know, as, as cars change, people's needs change. CarPlay, CarPlay's been a big thing uh, for quite some time in the past few years. Everybody kind of wants that, that's kind of the standard. Uh, for everybody in their vehicle. So if the car doesn't have CarPlay, people want it. Uh, so that's another uh, thing that's definitely changed over the last few years as far as sales are concerned uh, with our business here. So now to answer the big question, why should So Real Sounds be one of the top 50 retailers of the country? And honestly, I think it's real simple. I mean, why would you not want So Real Sounds to be one of the top 50 retailers? We're not pushy salespeople. We care about you. We care about your car. And we're real people providing real solutions, achieving real results to keep our clients really happy. It's the so real way of life. Typically, when our clients come to our facility, there will not be somebody in the showroom as we're usually out back working on cars. So once the client walks in, we'll come from out back and we'll greet them. Then 90% of the time is spent out at the vehicle designing the system. We're only at the sales counter for pricing and scheduling. So back here is our installation bays. So we've got a window from the showroom to back there. So if any client's waiting, they can kind of see what's going on. Let's take a walk. Let's take a squander. So this is our install bay. We can comfortably fit about three cars in here. We could probably tuck four if we really wanted to, but you know, comfortably fit three and do what we have to do. There's really only three of us here anyway, so three is more than enough. Obviously, wrap the vehicles in protective tape so we don't damage anything while we're working. So we got some you know, workbenches, connectors and toolboxes, typical stuff you see in a lot of shops. Got our battery chargers here on the vehicles so we don't kill any batteries as we're working. Got a little wire racks over there. Another workbench. My main guy, Javi, doing his thing. Got our wood racks, wall saws over here. So we're working all kinds of vehicles. You know, we got the big dump truck here. We got new trucks here. We got old school cars here older BMW so we work on whatever this is our wood shop our wood shop is currently under construction so we're gonna be making all new benches so things are just kind of laid out right now just so that we can function and do what we need to do so this will be transformed in the near future but this is our workspace Nothing super fancy, but we're functional. And this is where we make all the magic happen. 